as a team we decided to went into the world of near field communication technology which is similar to like using radio frequency identification technology and what our big idea was about was how can we use this okay the technology that is out there to actually aid us to have the insecurity state in our country current security systems are not able to uh, they, they, they are no much to actually what criminal like criminals are doing and ter terrorists are actually doing and the police are, have no means of like capturing this information to actually aid them in either preventing or capturing these guys swiftly and it has been a very big burden so that was actually our main that's what inspired us like as patriotic kenyans as engineers who are out there solve problems how can we influence this to actually make it better and easier basically what happens in institutions is that you just give them basics of things you just told that these things do exist and then now from there onwards it just takes your initiative to work out and you know build on that base that you've been provided for in universities and for us uh, it was um, we actually had a channel to be able to build on this on this through the inter Galileo competitions. You know, such kind of boot camps, you're able to be exposed to now uh, hands-on things. Like uh, now you're able to recall what you learned in school and now put that knowledge into application. Most of the challenges are, uh, first and foremost, I'd like to talk about maybe design for optimization, whereby you come up with a system and uh, you design a system, then when it comes to the actual selection of the components, you have to choose the, like, the components that you will maximum, you, you use to maximum utilization and also components that are easily available and within your way. So that will be one. It's more of the design process. And actually to, to add on that, um, also the thing of uh, scaling up the whole thing because we started at just a uh, small thing that you can be able to prove the concept. Now that you were able to prove the concept, scaling it up to actually a uh, product that can be used commercially, that was also a bit of a challenge because you are looking at so many people using your product and uh, you really need to consider you know, that factor of um, efficiency. You also need to consider that uh, dependability. I mean, it has to be something that can, can last. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's really, really fun and also fulfilling. Uh, since, uh, you know, again, as I just said, it takes the initiative of uh, someone. So, I mean, like us, we do engineering and we're really passionate about constructing things, building things, and seeing people use them. It's really our desire, actually. And uh, it's been it's been really really fulfilling to see uh, you know to come up with such a system that is able to you know solve this issue of, uh, of security that is currently uh, an emerging issue in Kenya. Yeah, so it's really fun. Yes, and to add on that, it's more of uh, between the engineering fun ones, and uh, here we found a place where we will actually quench our curiosity and at the same time help the success. So yeah.